So welcome to your squeeze-off strainer. I'm going to show you what you should have in your box and how to put it together. The first thing is you want to open it up and you want to take out your parts. So the first thing that you're going to need is your shaft and your housing, which has the drive shaft assembly already inserted in it. If you have been using it before, it may not be in there, but this is where it goes in. You have a drain tray. You open up your box. You have a screen and a scroll. The plunger and the brush. The brush you can put away for later when you're cleaning up. The handle. Offer to put your fruit or veggies in and your recipe book. And in the back of the recipe book, there's also instructions on how to assemble. There's some interesting recipes and the history of the squeeze always in here. So once you've got everything out, go ahead and put your box away. And we will assemble it. The first thing you want to do is you want to put your clamp down so that you're going to be able to fit it on your counter. So I usually put mine all the way down. And then you want to take and put it on your counter. I always put a little piece of, hole, of rubber underneath it just to protect the edge of your counter. Not that I think it would do any damage, but I had a brand new counter and I don't want to do anything to it. So then you want to tighten it on, get a good firm tightening on your counter so it holds good and tight there. The next thing that you want to do is you want to put your handle on. So you're going to take off your wing nut. And fit your handle on. It, all, it lock, notches on there. It's got a square and it notches on there so it doesn't spin. Tighten your wing nut. Then you're going to take your drain tray, and this is very important to put this on next because if you put your screen and scroll on first, you'll have to take them off to put the drain tray on. So there's a notch right underneath that on the housing there, and it slides right in firmly. Then you take your screen and scroll assembly, make sure your wing nuts are out to the ends. And then you're going to put this on as an assembly. It's easier this way. When you put it on, you slide it on, and then I turn my handle. You saw that just like snapped in there? Because what that is, is there's another square notch on the end of the scroll that lines up with the drive shaft. So put those on together. And then you want to tighten your wing nuts down firmly so that it pulls the scroll and the screen in. But you want to do it evenly so that you're lined up. Your scroll is out and what this does is it sets up the alignment of the scroll and you don't want it to be crooked. So what we suggest is go ahead and tighten it all the way down. Turn and if it drags or makes any noise you want to loosen it just a little bit until it's there's no sound at all with it, except the squeak of my handle. Once that's done and on, put your hopper on, and you're ready to process your tomatoes.